Hello everyone, uh, my name is Veer and today we are going to see how you can run Cypress test in parallel without using Cypress dashboard. Uh, so here what we are doing, we are going to use uh, uh, one of the plugin that I had written. So this is a Cypress GitLab parallel runner plugin that will allow you to run your Cypress test uh, inside GitLab in parallel mode. Okay. So uh, this uh, package has been available on uh, Node package manager and you can you know utilize it and it is publicly available. So first thing what you have to do is you have to use uh, this particular command to you know install this package in your project. So what you have to do you have to just go to your project and there you have to just paste uh, this particular thing. So it will download that particular dependency and it will add as a dependency in your package.json so let me just quickly show you the package.json as well what it will do so it, if you can see it has added one dependency called as cypress gitlab parallel runner okay so the next step what you have to do is uh, you have to use this package okay uh, so for that uh, if you are using cypress 10 and above you can use uh, this configuration in your cypress config.js and if you are using previous version then you can use plugin uh, folder where you know you have index.js and the, there you can add this particular configuration okay so as i'm using uh, the latest version of cypress so i will add uh, this details into into the uh, this particular cypress config.js okay so so what i have done i have created one constant get spec files which requires cypress git lab parallel runner okay so this is the first thing and second thing what you have to do you have to uh, call this particular function so basically it has one function that it will return uh, the list of files or spec files okay so for that what you have to give well, you have to give the spec files okay and apart from that spec file you have to specify the uh, whether you want it to run it in parallel or not so you have to specify the true okay so these are the two changes that you have to do in the configuration and when you are running the test okay so basically what you have to do you have to use this particular command okay so i'll just copy this particular command and i will add it into my gitlab uh, sorry not on GitLab in my I will update this particular command with this particular thing okay so let me just quickly update this okay so uh, basically that plugin will do uh, what it will do it will based on the number of nodes uh, that you had specified to run in parallel it will divide your uh, files accordingly okay so just for reference uh, what we'll do i'll just update the gitlab ci.yml as well okay where we will mention how many you know uh, uh, things you wanted to run it in parallel how many nodes basically you wanted to run it in parallel so uh, for us like we have uh, one two three four five six seven seven files so let's say you wanted to uh, run all each and every spec file on different uh, gitlab ci instance uh, ci node basically then you can specify the count as a parallel seven okay so let me just quickly see where we can add that i think we can add it over here So like this you can add okay now next thing what we will do we'll just push this code on to GitLab and let's see whether those changes are reflected and we are able to you know run the test okay so let me just quickly commit these files and let's see whether uh, our tests are running it in parallel or not okay so whatever the changes that we had made we'll just push it 
so i'll add commit message saying that uh, running cypress tests in parallel okay and we'll just commit the changes okay so if you can see i'll just uh, see the commits as well okay just git push origin master so that our changes will be pushed to master so I'll just add username over here and I will add the password as well and I will hit enter so what it will do it will push the changes to a master okay now let's see on the GitLab whether we have the latest changes or not okay so if we can see uh, it has pushed the changes but it is saying that it is failed the job is failed let's see what is the reason for failure okay so it is saying you have to validate your account basically in order to you know uh, run this particular thing so let me just check my uh, account where I am having the valid credit card details entered so let me just pause the video for a minute okay so I found the issue basically uh, so basically there was uh, the account that I'm using was not having the valid credit card details so uh, you know uh, to in order to check whether we are doing the correct thing what I have done I had created one uh, a branch out of the master branch uh, called as Cypress parallel and we'll let's see we can push this branch on to the GitLab and let's see whether we are able to run the things or not also I did a small change over here uh, like you know we wanted to generate the earlier report as well right so I have added uh, one other parameter called as dash dash env earlier equal to true so what I'll do I'll just add this commit message saying uh, that added earlier report config okay and we'll just commit <clears throat> and then I will push this particular branch to origin okay and here the username that I was using initially was you know uh, wrong which is not having the correct account which was having the uh, my credit card details added so that's the reason it was not allowing me to push the code so if you can see it has pushed the code and if I just go to the uh, GitLab once again you can see uh, added if you can see the last commit was there this is the branch and you can see it has created seven different instances of a test and on each test it, it, it is executing a different spec file or a different test okay so let's you know uh, wait for a couple of minutes to get the execution completed and let's see the output okay uh, so it will take some time to you know complete the execution so it is it will execute one file test file on this particular node second on this third on this and so on okay uh, so so we have seven spec files so I had given the save seven count okay so based on your uh, CI configuration and number of spec files you can divide this okay uh, and kindly note that one node can have multiple test files running let's say you have 100 plus test file and you had given the node count as a 10 uh, or the parallel instance count in GitLab as 10 so what it will do it will divide 100 files into 10 different uh, parallel jobs and it will execute 10 uh, files on each node or uh, each test instance okay so now if you can see the test execution is completed in even the reports are deployed to uh, 
pages okay so if you can see there are some tests got that got passed and some are failed some stages basically and if you can che check the report you can see you know how many tests are passed how many failed and the percentage of everything and even you can see the uh, video recording of that as well so just to give you an example so if you can see uh, this is the execution video and even you can maximize that and see what actions were, were happening over there so that's it for this video guys thank you thanks for watching